Okay, in this in this topic, we're gonna do limits at infinity. Uh, so let's do first example. We're trying to evaluate the limit of one over x as x approach infinity. In other words, we wanna know as x approach infinity. In other words, as x get larger and larger. What happened to the value of 1 over x? What are they approaching? Are they approaching a number? Are they getting larger and larger also? So, let's use a table. Let's just plug in some numbers. So, so this is x. Let's, let's call 1 over x, y, because those are f of x or y values. So, if x is 10, y will be what? 1 over 10, which is 0.1. If x is equal to y, uh, is, if x is equal to 100, let's plug it in, you get y value would be 1 over 100, which is 0 0.01. If x is 1000, let's plug it in, the y value will be 0 0.001. If x is 1000, y equal 1 over 10,000, which is 0 0.0001. So you can see that the values of y are getting closer and closer to zero. In this case, we know that one of x is approaching, one over x is approaching zero. When one over x is approaching zero, we say limit of one over x as x approach infinity is equal to zero, not approach zero. 1 over x approaches 0 means the limit is equal to 0. All right, now let's do the example 2. We're trying to evaluate the limit of 1 over x as x approaches negative infinity. So, so this time, so let's put first y equal 1 over x. x approach negative infinity means we need to pick numbers that are getting larger and larger with negative numbers. In other words, we take in this and this number, and minus 1,000, and minus 10,000. So when x is minus 10, y is equal 1 over minus 10, which is negative 0.1. When x equal negative 100, y equal 1 over negative 100, which is negative 0 0.01. When x is equal negative 1,000, y equal 1 over negative 1,000, which is negative 0.001. Same thing for negative 10,000. Y equal 1 over negative 10,000, which is negative 0.0001. So same thing, at the Y values are approaching 0. The only difference between example 1 and example 2, they are approaching 0 from the left side. It's still the approaching zero. So we can still say as x approach negative infinity, y or 1 over x is approaching zero. So therefore, limit of 1 over x as x approach negative infinity is equal to zero. Now let's see the graph. The graph of y equal 1 over x, this is how it looks like. So, so let's see what happened. Let's take some x values as x. Let's take x values as x approach infinity. So let's assume this is x1, and this is x2, and this is x3. What would be the y values? Here we go. Here is y1. Here is y2. And here is y3. So you can tell the y values are approaching, see the y values are approaching 0. This is y equals 0 right here. y equals 0. It's right here. Now, same, so, and they're approaching it from the positive side. This is what we mean approaching from the positive zeros, right? From the positive y values. Now, let's do the second one. As x approaches negative infinity, so let's pick this to be x1, and this to be x2, and this to be x2, x3, and let's see what happened to the y values. See, here is y1, 
and here is y2 and here is y3 same thing the y values are approaching zeros the only difference this is approaching it from a negative uh, the negative uh, y values uh, and that's it for this example